Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're going to check it out how to scale correctly the models, objects, and environments in order to create a correct composition, or in other words, how to set the hierarchy in between the elements in Mid Journey. And also, if you'd like to see how I created these super realistic compositions made in Mid Journey, click down the join button near the subscription to sign up and select the secret contents in order to see this video tutorial. So now I'm going to show you how to scale objects separately mid journey, because if you don't add these, then mid journey won't know and mid journey will, uh, you know, scale the model or scale the background, however, you know, the AI wants. So we're going to specify this thing. So for example, I'm going to type in imagine space. So what I'm going to select is a yellow car, car on a mountain now if you type in like this yellow car on a mountain of course mid journey won't know how to do the composition correctly so we're going to need to specify how big the car to be and how big the mountain to be so i'm going to show you how to do that i'm going to add colon colon so now we're going to set the yellow car big so i'm going to add like six so this is going to be like the maximum number and from here you can we get basically going to go down so the mountain i'm going to set also the mountain colon colon to one so this is going to give me a sort of composition and also i'm gonna add a name you know the name of a tv series which is called gurun lagan so basically it's going to do it in this style it's going to be like a cart. This is a ma manga series, which uh, Mid Journey implemented it. So it's going to basically do it in this kind of style. You also can try this prompt out and see what is going to happen. Now we get the first result. So as you can see, so this way is basically showing me a car, you know, in between the forts on a mountain or something like that. Basically, if you put the max number on the car, it's going to scale up the car and it's going to scale down the mountain. Now let's try something else. I'm going to copy paste this. Control V and now I'm going to set the car. I'm going to set it on two because if I'm going to like set it on one, usually it's going to disappear. So it's going to be so small. So basically I'm going to add two and let's see what happens. From here, I'm going to select a car, but I'm going to go with the first one. I believe it's going to create something more interesting when I uh, render it. All right, so now we got the car on two, mountain on six. So as you can see, it understood me halfway. This is why it created like, you get like four options because sometimes it won't understand me. In these uh, first two examples where the car is kind of big and in the last uh, three, four examples, as you can see here, the car is like getting really small. You know, right now it's like hard to understand what is going on in this composition, but I'm going to upscale the third one and the fourth. Okay, let's try out a different one. Control V. And now I'm going to set the car on four and mount it on six. And let's see how it's going to arrange the composition, like what ideas the AI has. So now we got new results with the car four and the mountain six. And check this out, how the AI managed to solve this problem. I basically added similar uh, numbers, for example, and because they're like similar numbers, also the mountain is going to be a little bit bigger, but this way he put the mountain far, far away. So that way is like kind of small, you know? And this is how we managed to figure out the right solution for this one. So I like it. This also can be a four and the mountain can be a six, but it's not a great composition because it looks basically like a miniature mountain, you know. So I'm going to go with the third one. It also upscaled these, which look kind of weird. So basically you need to remaster in, or in order to make it more realistic looking. And also we got car two, mountain six. So I assume this would be the little car. I think I got like two wheels. I'm gonna also remaster this. Okay, so we got some new results going on. I'm gonna also remaster this. I don't know, what is it like a Bentley or something? Remaster. And then we got also results from this one. I think this was the car two mountain six. I'm gonna go with the first one. Okay, so we're getting some new results in here. So this is the new Ferrari thing. I think I, I showed. Then we got like uh, the car two mountain six. As you can see, the little Ferraris 
scaled down the mountain is, mountain is huge the car is kind of wrecked <laughs> but you get the idea i'm gonna roll with it oh look at that i think this car is for the back from the future thing who look at that thing okay so basically this game i like pretty good look at that so this was the car for mountain six and then we got the car what is that six mountain one i don't know what is this but this looks amazing and basically this is how you play around with the numbers in order to scale different objects and elements in order to create a more correct composition and you know mid journey knows even better what to do and it's going to bring you even better results so thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the visit and have a good one bye bye